Out here today is the bed block, and we're going to show you how to install an AR-15 barrel onto an AR-15 upper. So what you're going to do is you're going to lock this puppy into a vise, preferably a bench vise. You're going to take your upper here, and you're going to put it on top of this right here and you're going to slide your barrel into the bed block and then on the back side of this what we do is you take a empty bolt carrier slide it inside and lock it and your charging handle won't go all the way forward and then you take and push in a pin there. Everything is locked in nice and tight. And today what we have here is a UTG slim line handguard. And this is their barrel nut that comes with their product. And it comes with the barrel nut tool. What you do is just slide that puppy on there. What you see that green stuff right there is a little bit of frog lube we put on there. So this is their tool to uh, lock this puppy in. Alright. So I was just checking to see how this works. So you just slide that puppy in and that's how it locks in place to get you your torque specifications. Alright, so now what we've got here is your torque wrench and we're set at 30 foot-pounds. Alright, what you'll do is pull down. Alright, now you're set at 30 right here. And you'll take that off. either a breaker bar or another socket wrench but you never take off whatever you torque you never take off with the torque wrench use another wrench so at 30 foot pounds you lock this in place and then you take it off all right Then you go back to your torque wrench at 30 foot-pounds. Now, as you can see, my tool is in line with my torque wrench, okay? Now, this is the correct technical manual from the Army on how to do this, all right? Anybody else talking about putting your torque wrench at 90 degrees to get your correct torque is wrong. That is not how the technical manual tells you how to do that. So what you're going to do is you're going to put this tool back on there at 180 degrees or 0 degrees. Then again to correctly torque anything, you never put your hand anywhere on the tool except for the handle. Pull down. When it clicks, you're done. Now, you take it out again and you undo what you just did for the second time. What you're doing here is you're taking and seating your threads onto your upper. For the third time, you're going to set this tool at 30 foot pounds. We haven't gone and torqued anything yet. We've only gone to 30 foot pounds. Again, 180 degrees. 
done. That's the third time we've torqued this on this barrel nut. So now what we're going to do is go to 35 foot pounds. What I'm going to do is go up to 50 foot-pounds on this so we make sure that this won't come off. That was 40 right there. Go up to 45. And again, I'm going to torque it one more time. To 50 foot pounds and this barrel nut will be on this upper and the barrel will be seated and that's how you torque an AR barrel nut mill spec or for a certain hand guard anything like that and again every time you torque it you want your tool to be at zero degrees straight off the end of your tool alright that's how the army technical manual and the air force technical manual tells you how to do a mil spec barrel alright or barrel nut